Okay, it's time to bust some taboos, or in this case, break the seal, thanks to Always Discreet, because yep, I want to talk about light bladder leakage. Whoa! I just felt the men scroll down very quickly. Bye-bye. So, here's my confession. I thought that you only got bladder leaks if your JJ was destroyed by the joy that is natural childbirth. I thought that if you had a C-section, or as I like to call it, popped it out the sunroof, or if you are child-free by choice, just like me, then obviously you'd still be tight like a tiger and therefore leak-free. Well, I'm sure you'll be shocked to discover I was wrong. Very wrong. Now, I pride myself on being an open book, yet I never thought about the fact that sometimes when I laugh a lot, well, a little bit of wee comes out. I just thought it was a sign that I have hilarious friends. Then it started to happen when I sneezed, and once it happened when I did a particularly spectacular fart. Doot. Anyway, it's not a lot, it's just a few drops, and it's not blue liquid like in this demonstration. It's wee, okay? That's when it dawned on me that I have light bladder leakage. So I started asking a few of my friends, and bloody hell, I'm not alone. In fact, it happens to one in three Aussie women. One of my girlfriends can't do star jumps. Another will only buy black leggings, just in case of leaks. And another says jumping on the trampoline with the kids would cause a wee tsunami. And of course, that made me laugh so much that a little bit of wee came out. So here's what I want you to do. As a sign of women supporting women and breaking this taboo, in the comments, just put this symbol. Now, I think Instagram calls it the sweat emoji, but we all know it's three wee drops. And remember, we always got you.